Paul Waweru is going shopping. He's on the hunt for old laptop batteries. This Kenyan high school physics teacher has found an innovative use for the waste product. He uses the discarded batteries to power bikes. Through a company he founded, Waweru collects frames from old motorbikes, removes the engines and replaces them with a battery and a motor to propel the bike. Ecomobilas bikes require zero maintenance because there are no mechanical parts that need to be repaired uh, every often. Number two, the charging, the charging as compared to uh, refueling is much, much affordable. For a full charge, we are saying we are using less than $3. And for the same, for the border borders, they end up spending more than $7 a day to run the same bike. So cost-wise, this would be more cost-effective. And number two, in terms of maintenance, this would be very, very uh, easy to maintain. A fully charged battery can travel a distance of up to 100 kilometers. The bikes are being used around the city by couriers and delivery drivers. The other one was um, expensive in terms of fuel, in terms of uh, time. Uh, but with the electric one, it consumes a less time. It's efficient. Uh, I save on fuel. I don't use fuel anymore. I only consume 200 on tokens and I'm good for the, the rest of the day. Users are reaping two major benefits. They are able to ditch petrol whose prices remain high and are able to avoid pollution. Waweru says his invention compares very well to traditional motorbikes. Okay, having new batteries give you long life you know, in an electric vehicle. Here we are going now to reduce, you know, air pollution through take by permissions from internal combustion engines, which now don't have to be bought. Other way is noise pollution, which definitely when we have less noise pollution, we improve the well-being of the people. The batteries take only hours to charge, meaning one battery can be used more than once a day. The invention provides a cheap, sustainable method of transport using resources that are easy to come by in Kenya.